And what about Joseph Arimathea now? Um, again, I'm going to start with a story in the Iliad. Hector is the son of Priam. And in order to defile the body, Achilles drags the corpse of Hector behind his chariot um, and uh, travels, uh, or drags it around the city. Priam is um, obviously sorrowful, not only because his son is dead, but because Achilles is mutilating, trying to mutilate his flesh. Zeus sends his messenger Iris to Priam and says, uh, I gather a treasure of ransom, for ransom of Hector, put it on a wagon, and take it to Achilles, and I'll make sure um, that you get there safely, and offer the ransom for Hector, and then bring his body back for a fitting burial. So that's exactly what um, uh, happens. Uh, uh, Priam gathers an enormous treasure, puts it on a wagon, he rides a chariot, and he and his um, servant Idaeus go over the plains, go safely into um, the hut of uh, Achilles, even though it's very dangerous, and return with the corpse. And then it's given the burial, uh, and over his uh, ashes they gather stones. So what happens in the Gospel of Mark? Joseph's, uh, Jesus' father would be Joseph of Nazareth. But it's not Joseph of Nazareth who buries his son, it's Joseph Arimathea. And Arimathea in Greek means excellent discipleship. So Joseph of excellent discipleship buries Jesus, but Joseph of Nazareth does not. Um, Pilate is astonished that um, Joseph bared, that is, it's a dangerous thing to go ask for the body from the executioner, right? Um, he dared to come to Pilate and ask for the body. Um, a pilot agrees and gives him the body, and is surprised that the body is still intact, as was the case with Hector. Um, and Joseph gives him a fitting burial and puts a stone over the door of the tomb. But whereas Hector's body stayed in his tomb, and the city fell, um, Jesus' tomb is empty. Again, when we go to Homer Chantonis and the medieval gospel of Nicodemus, the uh, lines from the Iliad are imitated in order to retell the story of uh, Joseph of Arimathea rescuing the body of Jesus. In fact, um, it's expanded in the gospel of Nicodemus by about five times as long, using basically paraphrase from uh, the Iliad. Uh, 24. 